What is up, guys? I just got a smallmouth out here at the Spoon River. He's about nine inches. I got him on the uh, big TRD and green pumpkin. But uh, let's get him back here because I dropped him. So let's get him back in the water. That's a nice smallmouth right there, guys. I just got my first smallmouth of the day. There he goes. So what is up guys? I'm out here with my dad at the beautiful Spoon River. It's It got some deep drops in it, but we're out here on a smallmouth trip. And as you can see, I already got my first smallmouth on the TRD. And my dad caught a nice one too. But we're out here on a smallmouth trip, guys, up this bridge, and we'll get back to you when I catch a fish. What is up, guys? I just got hooked up with my second smallmouth of the day, about the same size. Maybe a little bit smaller. I'm waiting as you can see in my boots. This is on the baby brush hog in green pumpkin blue flash. Look how deep this mud is. Pretty deep, but got me a nice little smallie. Yep, so having fun out here at the Spoon River. Catching some Spoon River smallmouth. This is on the green pumpkin. Let me get some better lighting. Green pumpkin, blue flash. Right in the mouth. Right there. Let me get him unhooked. This is my first small mouth of the year. Some of my first small mouth. That's a pretty small mouth right there. Yep. So, we're going to release him. We'll get back to you. What is up, guys? Just got my third one on the Oxblood colored KVD soft plastics. Nice little chunker. And I'm just running uh, my six foot Ike spitting rod with a uh, eight pound test trialing monofilament. And he choked that worm right there with the 16th ounce weight. Let's get him unhooked. In that. As I'm looking, it looks like he, do, he got the worm down his throat. So, but let's get him unhooked. So you can see here. Let's see, hopefully you guys can see it. Ah, he's biting me. But let's see here. He got the worm down his throat. So. One, push down that worm for him a little bit, and release the Spoon River smallmouth back into the Spoon River. Right there, that is a nice Spoon River smallie. And way down there in the stomach, he got the worm. But let's get the release on him on the KVD six and a half inch worm Spoon River smallies. Ah, uh, smallmouth are my favorite. Well, come on now. Turn around. There he goes. He even jumped. Oh, here's somebody else's bait right here. Let's get this out of the water. Somebody's little smallmouth bait I found right there. With the weight, we'll put that back up here. But, uh, great day out here at the Spoon River, guys. Got him on the worm. We got some rods out here. It's raining currently. Cloudy conditions, perfect time to fish. That was the first cast. I'm going to stay with the worm. And, uh, I'll get back to you guys. Spoon River smallmouth.
Well, fourth smallmouth of the trip is a dink, but every fish counts, guys. Right out of that main seam current right there is a little dinker, but every smallmouth counts. This is one of my favorite ways to fish. River fishing smallmouth is the best way to fish, funnest way to fish. I just got a little dink, but every fish counts, guys. Let's keep after it. Smallmouth down at the river. Let's get it. We're ending the day here with this nice nine, nine and a half inch smallmouth. An amazing day catching little river smallmouth on the net bait. Big TRD in green pumpkin. I also used today the KVD finesse worm and a couple other baits, but I caught this one on the big TRD. Nice smallmouth. Had a day of smallmouth fishing. I ended up catching six. I lost a couple, maybe a couple big ones, but that always happens. I snapped off only one, but great day at the Spoon River, guys. Catching some Spoon River smallies. Let's get a look at her. Nice, fat, healthy Spoon River smallie. Right there, guys. Nice small mouth, but great day out here fishing for smallies. We'll see you in the next one.